so now we will write the code in order to debug the uh, angular code base so first i'll go to the launch and here we should add uh, the new configuration uh, in order to debug the angular code base so uh, i can always use this add configuration to add a new configuration and it will ask you which kind of uh, 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 configuration you want to add like either chrome and it is chrome right because we are doing uh, the angular code based debugging which will be mostly it will be a chrome so in the chrome also there are two options like whether you want to attach it or you want to launch it and mostly in our case we want to launch it so we will select chrome launch and then you will get the type chrome and uh, request is launch and then you can put your name here uh, I would like I I have the here server debug here we can say uh, client debug client in the debug mode and then uh, you can put any url that you wanted to put and in our case url was 4200 so i'll update this to 4200 and then uh, web root is same like it it goes to the workspace folder that is our root folder and then uh, one thing is like whenever we launch this task we have to do uh, we have to basically uh, we have to learn uh, serve our uh, angular code base so serve means it will it will do the npm run uh, sorry it will do the ng serve so if you go to the package.json so here you have uh, uh, ng serve so we do not have a client serve here right so we have just uh, npm uh, start and we have ng and we have build which is doing this and start is doing ng serve so basically start is doing ng serve so I can call uh, ng serve ng serve what is ng serve it will just build it in a it will build that right so we can call that so before you launch your browser you should call the some function so we can say pre launching task so before you launch uh, let's run some task and what is that task I can say it is a uh, npm and then what is that command it is so we can call it like serve right and this serve task that we want to create so this is the task that you should create first before you run that because now if you run uh, so now if you go to the debug mode you will see client debug is coming and if you run it it will throw an exception saying that serve task is not found it will say something like that if you go to the debug console uh, it will say could not find the task called as npm colon serve so basically it is our responsibility to create the task so let's go uh, go ahead and create the task in the task.json uh, I can create another task here by putting one more object here and in this case uh, this task will be like uh, of type npm so we'll say type is npm and then um, when we do this uh, task then there is a script thing that you have to put right and this script should match with your uh, scripts which are in the package.json file and this script name I can just give any name uh, this could be like serve right and this is what it will be called from the launch.json next is uh, we have to say that it is in the background uh, process so basically in the in the background this task will run and after that your browser will be launched so from the launcher when it, this task is running it will be running in the background mode and then in the presentation uh, these are the default things that you get right focus is true so in our case we will make focus is true and then other thing is the panel panel is uh, instead of shared we will create a dedicated panel right and then uh, show reduces message and these are the basically default uh, options that is there you can just leave it that's fine and then next is the group right so for the group we will choose the build group there are many group available so for now we will choose this for as a build group so we can go to the kind and you can say build and then uh, next is uh, whether it is a default or not for us uh, we will call it as a default uh, one right so this is the default build sorry so this this is the default one whenever you run the build it will run this task as a default right so we keep adding this group and next is uh, the problem matcher so what is this problem matcher problem matcher will say whether uh, which how it should match with the package.json script that you have right 
so here you put all of the metadata that is needed for example uh, who is the owner so in our case owner is uh, like typescript so i'll just put typescript because uh, all angular things runs in the typescript right and what is the source for that so source is ts and similarly apply to and apply to will go to the closed documents all of the documents which are closed and then uh, you'll have file location and in our case file location is the working directory right so i can just put working directory current working directory however it is it should be relative one right so you have a, a relative and then we can say it's a working directory so if i just do this it will show you that working directory thing so this is the file location that you need next you need is a uh, pattern so which are the pattern that you want to match and in our case we'll just use the typescript so we'll say dollar tsc next is the background and in this case active on start is we'll use active on start and active on start is true and then next we need a begins uh, uh, pattern begins pattern control space will give you the intelligence so that you can use and in the begins pattern uh, we can use regular expression if i do control space i get the thing and in regular expression we can put uh, anything which is starting with dot and then anything after that you don't care next is uh, ends pattern so this is begins pattern and then next is the ends pattern and in the ends pattern we will again have a regular expression where we can write compiled which is compiled or failed to compile so basically you do not need to remember this all of the uh, task uh, metadata normally it, uh, you should just have it typed once and then you can just reuse it basically you can copy paste and reuse it so this is the uh, task that we have created called as serve and uh, this serve will dedicately run uh, your uh, typescript right and that way it should be fine so next is uh, so finally what you'll do is you'll just create a script called as serve uh, this is script serve script right so let's go ahead and create the serve script in package.json file so here i'll go and i'll create a script called as serve and this is the script that you will call from the uh, task and basically this is this serve should do ng serve what i'll do is from in the start i'll i had the ng serve i'll remove it or just for now just keep it uh, so what should happen now is when you uh, go to the debugger and select the client debug mode and then if you hit f y uh, if you hit this button what should happen is it should launch the client debug one and it should first uh, pre launching task is serve and this serve is here in the task this is that and which is defined here basically so it will run ng serve on your console on your console debug console once ng serve is done as a background process it will keep waiting and then it will open your browser that's how it is so let's debug it uh, and watch your uh, debug terminal debug console in the in the task it already created a new task called as ng uh, called as serve task and you see it is running our ng serve so ng serve will take some time to run once ng serve is done then if you go to the debug console it will show that it is launching a browser uh, at um, at 42200 right so it will it will wait till your task is done ng serve is done right so so you saw uh, it is launching our browser in a this is ng server basically it is running in a in memory uh, server basically uh, by angular right so it will open that in 4200 url and uh, and currently i can see all of my pages let's say if i go to the products i see products and i can now debug to the uh, product list controller uh, component right so if you can go to the product list uh, products component and i can put the let me hide this i can put the debugger here 
and you can put in the data service as well like this right and if you go go ahead and refresh this page if i refresh this page or come back again from here to here i should see the debugger heated right and it is heating right in the vs code so you could always debug in your chrome but the if you need a same uh, user experience like uh, both for server and client i want to debug in vs code then this is the excellent option so now i can debug uh, both server and client in right in the vs code and i can have a same experience basically right so you can do all of the debugging like keep going and check what is going on core js or wherever you want to debug um you can do all all of that right so you come here and then you step up right you see all of the products are coming so it goes to the product data service and then get the data and so on right so this is the demonstration of how to debug the node uh, angular code base which is client code base and it could be anything like normal regular javascript angular or react and uh, debugging it into the vs code so what we will do now is next is uh, we will try to combine both of them we we'll see is there any one button that i click it and it should just run both both server and um, client in a debug mode right so we'll see that next quickly 